Greetings, experimenters and enthusiasts. I'd like to show y'all my homemade FM receiver. It's a very simple design, uh, a regenerative design, consisting of a single transistor, specifically an NPN 20, excuse me, 2N3904. And tuning is accomplished by this capacitor. And if you look further down on the board here, you can see the audio amplifier. The audio signal coming out of this is quite weak, and the chip on the left is an op amp, 741 in an inverting configuration with a gain of about 100 to pre-amplify the signal. The chip on the right is just a power amplifier IC. Not as important. Uh, the actual receiver itself has two coils. This yellow wire, which is the main tank coil, does not have very much inductance, as you can see. And this little white wire here would be the tickler or regeneration coil to help it boost the signal a little bit. Uh, this circuit takes advantage of parasitic capacitances in the transistor. And I've also coupled an antenna to it via a 2.2 picofarad capacitor. And I've also discovered that tuning can be accomplished here, and I've taken this regular 365 picofarad tuner capacitor that's normally used on AM radios, and I've put it in series with a 24 picofarad capacitor. That way, the overall capacitance of the series combination is at most 24 makes it easier to tune. There's a variety of ways to tune it besides this capacitor. You can also insert the ferrite rod. Very indicative of changes in inductance. Or you can squeeze this. And as the area of the loop decreases, so does inductance. Now, if you use smaller loops, you can receive the United States aircraft band, which is above 108 megahertz. And I've heard so far only a helicopter. And if you tune lower, you can hear some television channels in the U.S. still in the analog system. I heard local channel 4 here. And of course the FM band is between uh, 88 and 108 megahertz. Overall, I was quite satisfied. I built it less than a day. Took a lot of tinkering. You have to be very, very careful. And that's not a big deal. Lots of stations. And I've tried other types of transistors. Any cheap NPN one such as a 2N2222 or a 2N4401 should work. Maybe even others. I have just begun experimenting and I'm quite happy. This is my first VHF radio project. And let me conclude by crediting another YouTube video uh, that gave me the idea for this circuit. The idea to experiment and improve upon it. And I'll link to it in my comments. Thank you.